let's begin with some familiar examples for easy understanding. This bees and flowering plants. Here bees pollinate flowers while they get nectar from the flower or plant. Second example is ox pickles and large mammoths. These birds eat parasites of the skin of mammals like rhinos, buffaloes and zebras. So these mammals get rid of the parasites from their body. In this interaction, both species are benefited. This is called mutualism. In mutualism, both species benefit from the interaction. So species A is happy. Let's give the plus sign for beneficial interaction. Species B is also benefited. This remoras and sharks. Remoras attach to sharks for transportation and feeding on leftover scraps. Second example is this epiphytic plants on trees. Plants like orchids grow on trees to access sunlight without harming the tree. This type of interaction is called commensalism. One species is benefited while the other is neither benefited nor harmed. So species A is benefited. So for plus sign, positive interaction, whereas species B is unaffected, let's give zero. So a type of interaction where one species benefits while the other is neither benefited nor harmed is called commensalism. Now the third type of interaction, tapeworms in mammals. Tapeworms live in the intestines of hosts absorbing nutrients. Fleas on dogs, these fleas feed on blood of dogs causing discomfort and potential health issues. This type of interaction is called parasitism where one species benefits at the expense of the other. So as you see, species A is benefited, so positive sign, whereas species B is affected or harmed. Therefore, let us give this negative sign or minus sign. Now the fourth interaction. Large trees shading the smaller plants as you see here. The shade can inhibit the growth of these plants, these understory plants, without affecting the tree itself. Second example is this penicillin produces certain chemicals that kills bacteria or that inhibits bacterial growth. This type of interaction is called as amensalism. Here one species is harmed while the other is unaffected. Here the bacteria is harmed in the case of this moldan bacteria, whereas penicillin is unaffected. It secretes certain chemicals that inhibits the growth of bacteria. So species A is harmed, species B is unaffected, so let's give zero. The next interaction, these two bird species competing for nesting sites in a tree. So both are affected. Both may have reduced reproductive success due to limited space or nesting sites. Second example is fish competing for food in a shared habitat. In both these cases, both species are negatively affected as they compete for the same resources. This is called competition. So species A is negatively affected and species B is also negatively affected as a result of competition. Next interaction is the predation. Lions hunting zebras, frogs eating insects. These are all predation. In predation, one species that is a predator benefits by consuming another that is a prey. Here, lion is a predator and zebra is a prey. So species A is benefited whereas species B is negatively affected or gets killed. The next interaction is called neutralism. Let's take one example. Birds nesting in trees actually do not affect tree health or growth. Then various plant species that is growing in a meadow without influencing each other or frogs and rabbits that is living in the same habitat with little interaction. So these are all examples of neutralism. Neither species affects the other. They coexist without interaction. So species A is not affected, therefore let's give zero. Species B is also not affected. So this type of interaction is called neutralism. The next interaction is called parasitoidism. Wasps laying eggs inside caterpillars. The larvae consume the caterpillar from within. 
Second example is bees that lay eggs in beetles, where larvae consume the beetles as they develop. Here one organism, the parasitoid, this wasps and bees, benefits by living on or inside the host organism, eventually killing it. So species A is benefited, whereas species B is negatively affected. Next interaction is herbivory. Cows grazing on grass. Cows obtain nutrition while grass may suffer damage, whereas caterpillars feeding on leaves of various plants. Caterpillars get energy or food while damaging the plant leaves. So here one species in, in herbivory, one species the herbivore feeds on plants, benefiting from the energy obtained while potentially harming the plant. So species A is benefited whereas species B or plant is negatively affected. And the final interaction, it is actually a term which is called as symbiosis. Symbiosis is a term that is used to refer a close and long-term interaction between two different species, which may be mutualistic, commensalistic or parasitic. So mutualism, commensalism and parasitism all comes under symbiosis. Examples, we have discussed all these. Ex Classical example is lichen where fungus and algae grows together closely and it is a long-term interaction. And all other mutualistic, commensalistic or parasitic interactions come under symbiosis. Hope you are benefited from this video. Take care, stay plus. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.